Hi, it's dumpster diving time again. People are always saying, Dave, more dumpster diving videos. Well, sorry, I am like limited by what people throw out. Anyway, I checked it this morning, going out to lunch, and here it is. Um, we've got a 55 inch LCD TV. Unfortunately, it's a crap Sonic brand. It's just one of these generic ones Sonic don't actually design and manufacture it. They just rebadge it. I don't know. One Hung Low factory in China or whatever. But 55 inch full HD um, LCD monitor. I originally thought that when I first had a look at it, it was no good because there's quite a few marks here, which um, down on the, you know, down in the low light of the dumpster room, I thought were cracks, and I thought, ah, oh, it's cracked, and I was just going to walk away and leave it. But uh, fortunately, it actually came supplied with all the uh, power cables, HDMI with component video. And they are all integrated. Obviously, it was uh, it was on the wall, and you can see it was on the wall. It comes with the mounting brackets. Fortunately, they didn't uh, leave the plate or whatever. So, uh, well, it could have been down there, but they probably tossed the plate in the dumpster. I didn't actually think to look for that. Anyway, doesn't matter. So yeah, it's a cheap ass LCD TV, and I thought it was cracked, and I thought oh, it's going to be no good. Uh, you know, they've dropped it or done whatever. Someone's you know throwing something at the TV in rage and. Uh, um, it's broken because I've seen a bunch of those down in the dumpster and once the LCD is cracked of course the uh, the screen is cracked all the uh, magical liquid crystals all fall out and then that's all she wrote but fortunately there is a PowerPoint down in the dumpster I thought oh what the heck I'll just give it a bowl and sure enough let's give it a go there is no uh, remote control for it. Always, when you're dumpster diving, always look out for the remote controls they might put in the dumpster had a brief look couldn't find it so anyway uh, Cinovision, Cinovision.com. Is that who makes it or is that who makes some um, whiz bang firmware that goes in it to make it more cinema like? Anyway, a Bobby Dazzler. Look at this. So, obviously, these uh, bits on the screen, these are just um, outside. I think they're just outside. Actually, this one feels like it's an outside scratch. It's a big scratch mark on it, but uh, anyway, I'm not concerned about that. That is a winner winner chicken dinner. So, the internal firmware works just fine and it is one of these newfangled uh, smart TVs not sure of the age of it but uh, anyway um, it's reset itself <laughs> to 2008 so maybe the battery inside is uh, dead or whatnot so connect your TV to the internet bingo Ethernet connected yep we're in like Flynn um, a web page not available <laughs> Cena vision Sinovision, I guess. Are they still in business? I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me, but uh, yeah, screen works, Ethernet works. Um, maybe there could be something wrong, as we've seen before, like on one of the HDMI inputs or something. Uh, let me try that. But thankfully, my uh, Huawei Mate 20 phone has an uh, infrared uh, transmitter doodad on top, and I downloaded a, an app specifically uh, for Sonic uh, TVs, and it just switched it off. So I'm going to go working. So here we go. Oh. Here we here we go. No, delete. Where's where's the power button? Oh, there it is. Do rate us five stars. Remind me later. Here we go. There we go. Switched it on. No wackers. We have the googly monster. Interwebs works. Uh, yep. I think I'll install an update to this media browser or whatever it is. Why not? And for those playing along at home, uh, there's no updates available to the main firmware. And well, the HDMI works because mmm pie. Um, but for the life of me, I don't know how to actually switch full screen to the HDMI input. This thing's bloody ridiculous. Anyway, stupid ad crap over here. Absolute rubbish. Now it popped up down here somewhere with a uh, little home thing. It's gone now. A home button, but uh, I don't see a home button on my Sneak app. So I'm not sure what the deal is. I still cannot, seriously, I cannot get to that, uh, to, just to go full screen on that HDMI input. I just don't get it. It's got to be the home button, but I don't have one. Anyway, unless this thing has some sort of, you know, thermal intermittent long-term issue or something like that, um, it's a winner winner chicken dinner. Sure, it's not 4K. It's not like the uh, 4K one that I, 3D one that I picked up uh, last time, but hey, I'll take a 55 inch uh, full HD LCD TV, even if it is this crappy Sonic thing, which can't even get to the bloody HDMI page for. Anyway, um, yeah, bloody smart TVs. Give me a break. Anyway, um, yeah, that's, I, it's 
not worth a huge amount. Don't know how much something like this would go for on eBay. I don't know, 100 or 200 bucks, maybe. Um, not much, so, you know, it's not a real expensive score, but still, somebody tossed it out. So, there you go. Eh, might as well have a look inside. Well, I'll score all the uh, cables that came with those. That'll fix it. That came with this thing. What's a QT166 RF dongle? I love that they actually call it a dongle. I count no less than four different types of screws, including uh, self-tappers, to get this, the one, just this one back cover off. Not different panels, the same back cover panel. That's insane. Oh, wow, I tell you what, this is bad. Look, this bottom screw goes into the plastic. It goes into the plastic. This top one looks like it goes into the metal. But that, that is, oh, what a joke. Oh, cheap crap. Ah, warranty void. Ha, fix that. There we go. Screw that, literally. Okay, I got it, I got it. And we're in like Flynn, and yep, exactly what we expect. Ah, oh, geez, that's that's flapping around in the breeze, isn't it? Can that? I assume that that I can take out that grommet. Look at that. Sorry about the audio. So I assume that's going to butt up against there like that to prevent that grommet falling out. But well, this is interesting. Check it out, Sneak Meg Res. Um, the mega resolution or something, perhaps? I don't know. Um, are they rolling their own board? Maybe they have. I don't know. Um, I don't... I thought Sonic were just some, you know, re-brained... re-badged... Re uh, one hung low thing, but... Anyway, um, obviously, everything's under the one big uh, application-specific... AC... Well, no, actually. No, it could be... It's not one big chip. Could be multiple under there. Sharing the same, same heatsink. A few power supply aficionados there. What do we got? They won't be a, it's a Meg Meat. Meg Meat. <laughs> Not sure what the brand is on that puppy. These ones here are, yep, Chong branded caps. The other one's from likely a uh, Chong branded cap as well. You know, it's, it, nah, it's, no bulges in the caps. Still seems okay. So, meh, you know, it's a cheap power supply. What do you want? Okay, what the heck is this? There's a little micro coax running out to this with a little dangly bit of uh, sort of wire hanging off the end. It's got to be some sort of antenna, but I've never seen anything like that before. That is weird. And it screwed that into a interface board for the component video. That's interesting that they went to that effort to have the uh, separate board. It's a bit unusual. Okay, they've got a the, uh, ferrite there by the looks of it on the... Um, LCD, which is going off to the TCON board. But uh, anyway, there's missing a missing something or other there. Is that some sort of uh, other tuner, perhaps? But uh, yeah, no, there's not much doing on there. There's some memory and not much else. I won't bother taking the heatsink off. I I just really couldn't be bothered. Um, and well, that's all she wrote. There's the details for those playing along at home. Anyway, there you have it. That's a uh, Sonic 55-inch LCD TV, many years old. Uh, doesn't even have a digital tuner by the looks of it. So, yeah, but it's got all the requisite HDMI inputs. It is a smart TV, in quote marks, with uh, android -y, uh type things. So, you know... <laughs> It's not great. It's not worth a huge amount, but hey, it was tossed out. I think all the scuff marks on the front screen and the uh, side bezel of it were just due to handling, uh, just putting it in the dumpster, I think. Um, so not physically in the dumpster. It was just uh, up against the wall in the uh, dumpster room. But yeah, I think it was uh, some sort of physical handling thing which uh, caused that. And well, it works just fine. They tossed it out. I guess they upgraded it. Um, they wanted, I don't know. Maybe they wanted their digital tuner. Maybe they just upgraded. Maybe they moved offices, didn't want it anymore. They were starting again. And yes, I really do find this stuff in the dumpster. People keep asking. No, I don't buy this crap on eBay and plant it in the dumpster. It's, I, I, I'm in one of these high-end industrial business parks and my dumpster room shares a, uh, like a, probably what, uh, I don't know, 80, 100 different companies or something like that. And they all share the one dumpster room and they just toss stuff like this out. 
just what companies do. I, like, I find this stuff on not quite a weekly basis. You know, some weeks I don't find anything at all. Some I go a month without finding anything of value in the dumpster room. But if you check periodically, stuff like this turns up. And I just happened, if this was laying around in the dumpster room for an extra day, maybe someone would have nabbed it or uh, something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, that's a winner win chicken dinner. Don't know what else I'll do with it, but a working 55-inch um, LCD TV... I might have a use for it eventually, so I'll just uh, stash it and I'll just add to my hoard of stuff, shall I? Anyway, I, don't know, I might have some use for it. I don't know. If you've got an idea, leave it in the comments down below. I could have, you know, I don't know watch YouTube videos up on the lab wall and just have it running 24 7 or something like that. I, <laughs> no idea. But anyway, I know this wasn't terribly exciting video, and but I decided oh, I'll whack it on the main channel because a lot of everyone keeps asking more dumpster diving videos, and well, they're not that interesting. It's just I found an LCD in the dumpster and it worked. <laughs> Whoop-de-doo! <laughs> Catch you next time.